You can do an internet search on any one of a number of sexually transmitted infections and an image search, and you will get pictures. For the most part, the pictures that are used in textbooks, the pictures that are used to teach about sexually transmitted infections will show you the worst case scenario. So you want to take that into consideration when you're looking at pictures, that often what you're looking at is a worst case scenario picture, and someone might say to themselves, whoa, I don't look like that, so I'm okay. So I would say it might be helpful to look at pictures so you can see, oh, this might be what a wart looks like, or this might be what a herpes looks like, and, and that can be really helpful. But I want to caution you against saying, if I don't look like that, then I must be fine. Also remember that many sexually transmitted infections don't have symptoms, and so there are no pictures to look at. But if you're curious about something that showed up on your body and you wanna know, oh, is this a ward? Is this a skin tag? Is this a herpes? To be honest, the best thing to do is to contact your medical provider who actually has looked at a lot of these things and could probably tell you just from visually looking at it that it's something that needs to be examined versus you trying to diagnose it yourself.